Okay, we will continue the review of the sheep brain, <coughs> cranial nerve, or the structure associated with sense of smell, olfactory bulb. I've removed the eyeball, unfortunately lost the other optic nerve here, where the two optic nerves cross, optic chiasm. This is the infundibulum where the pituitary gland was attached, and the most caudal part of the diencephalon is this structure, the mammillary bodies. You'll notice this smooth part of the cortex on this ventral side of the brain. That's the piriform cortex. This part of the brain is the midbrain. Here's cranial nerve three. Part of the brain just caudal to the midbrain is the palms. And you'll notice the fibers running at right angles to the long axis of the brain. If you follow those fibers, you will end up in the cerebellum. Those are the transverse fibers of the pons. Caudal to the pons is part of the brain stem, the medulla oblongata. On the surface of the medulla looks like two glass noodles glued to the surface. Those tracks white matter, the pyramidal tracts. Those are continuations coming of the corticospinal tract, coming from the cortex, traveling down through the cerebral peduncles in the midbrain, ducking under the transverse fibers of the pons, appearing on the ventral surface of the medulla oblongata, and then they decussate and disappear and continue down the spinal cord as the corticospinal tracts. Looking dorsally, again cerebellum, cerebrum. If I peek behind the low, the cerebrum, I see four bumps. Let's see if I can get them in here. One, two superior bumps to inferior bumps, superior bumps, superior colliculi, inferior bumps, the inferior colliculi, superior colliculi associated, associated with the sense of sight, inferior colliculi associated with the sense of hearing. And caudal to those and sneaking underneath and lying underneath the cerebellum is the fourth ventricle.